Losing the love of your life makes you realize that love can truly be a double-edged sword. It can make us feel so uniquely connected to the world and fill our hearts so they are overflowing. It can also slash our hearts to shreds, leaving painful emotions seeping out for a long time to come. And one of the most painful places to be in is the one where you feel regret, guilt, and pain for losing someone you see is too much of a loss to recover from. The one who was there for you, loved you, and did the thick and thin thing because they believed in you. But now they are gone. Losing the love of your life and actually realizing it can take some time to surface. There is pain on both sides when a breakup occurs. A time of healing. A time when moving on begins and life slowly becomes happier. The pain subsides, and you reflect on the lessons you learned and seek new love. There are also times when this doesn't happen. Where you find yourself thinking of someone every day. Losing the love of your life is painful. You feel heavy with guilt, and regret lives in your gut. It is often at this point you question yourself, and think that this person you lost, has left a hole in your life that can never be filled. Before I begin with the video, do you want to learn how you can awaken a man's most secret and powerful desire to earn your love and eventually make him obsessed with you? Do you want your man to miss you like crazy and get serious for you? If you think your man is just playing on you, you should definitely grab my ebook. I have personally written this ebook where I have disclosed some untold secrets of making your man feel an everlasting love for you and only you. Forever. By implementing the techniques in this ebook, he will fall in love with you gradually and get completely mesmerized by your personality. The link to this free ebook is in the description box below. Also, if you have any relationship or marriage problem and want any help regarding it, feel free to email me at my personal email address. How and why we self-sabotage the reasons are endless. The whole sabotage thing is a red flag that we are not in tune with ourselves and our needs. It is a sign we are disconnected with who we are and where we are going in life right now. It also highlights our fears, insecurities, and inability to be honest with both ourselves and others. When this moment is related to screwing up our relationship with another, we often can't see what we have also done to ourselves, because we are so focused on the other person. Losing them is all we can think of and we fail to see that we have also lost ourselves. Life is tinted in winter hues and life is not moving on. Even in a state of no contact for months, perhaps over a year. Sometimes your connection to a person who was emotionally available, good to you and loved you, just won't fade away. Attempts to begin dating again, to be in a new relationship, still leave you finding yourself unable to disconnect. The feeling of wanting them and missing them fills each day. The love you still hold for them doesn't dwindle. The guilt you feel for hurting this special person holds tight. When you think of them, your heart strings pull because you remember just how pure their intent was. How they were always so consistent, so steady and so effortlessly able to be themselves. You may even dislike yourself at times because you know it was you that caused the split and you are responsible for causing pain to someone you really value and cannot move on from. Regarding broken hearts. You can only mend yours. Stop focusing outwards on trying to love others if you are currently unable to love yourself. Truly, self-sabotage is rooted in a feeling of being undeserving of good things. Understand this, and you will quickly pick up on it when something triggers you into this state. There is an advantage to be gained in this knowledge and when you are aware of this connection, you can prevent yourself from falling into the same trap. When we are left with a broken heart, the pieces are right there in front of us we can't escape what we feel on this level. You are vulnerable when in this state, and the pain is a gift because it helps you grow and move forward. You cannot move forward or heal without pain. Don't be afraid of it, embrace it. To get back the one that got away, you need to be ready to share your vulnerabilities and apologize in the most heartfelt way. And you will not find that hard to do if you are truly connected to your emotions in a healthy way. Be grateful for these two beautiful things if you know you have lost a real love. Firstly, you are able to attract a loving person because you have what it takes, even if at times you fail to see that. But you need to back up your qualities and insecurities by loving them too or else you will always end up coming from a place of lack or unworthiness. This is where the bond always breaks. Heal your brokenness and the bond will no longer break. Admit your fears and flaws because when you do, something lovable comes of them, instead of them being a barrier, they become a bridge to wholeness. We all have faults and insecurities. Don't think you are the only one. 
you need to choose to not hide behind created images, bravado and a version of the truth. True love is about being able to be vulnerable. No one can get close to you until you can be in that place with yourself. Secondly, the person you cared for, tried to love you back. When they left, they mirrored to you what you couldn't see in yourself, unavailability. You were someone they hit a brick wall with, and wise people know what to do when they hit brick walls. They walk away. That is the gift they have given you. To acknowledge it and to work on it. This person showed you that without being on a level playing field, no one was going to score. The saddest thing with self-sabotage is it achieves nothing. It doesn't keep us safe. What we all need to understand is that when we are connected to a person in a healthy, loving way, it is easy to deal with bad days and weaknesses. Because those issues don't dominate or taint the relationship. Look at it this way, no one in a solid relationship is going to leave you because you have the flu. Nor will they leave you when you say I'm feeling really unsure about myself on this. I'm working on it, and I'm grateful for your support. And realize too, any opportunity to be in an emotionally available relationship, is a chance to show how you have evolved and grown. This time around, you have so much more to offer. You have a solid chance at happiness because you are in a place full of self-love, not self-sabotage. You have love to offer, and you no longer feel any need to hide that. You are also no longer suffering from fear that cripples you from letting it in. This is the love you deserve. This is the only love you want to accept, and give, to others. So, if you find yourself in a space where you miss someone to the point you feel they are the one that got away, that you cannot move on without them stop. Understand that on your journey with them, they helped show you where you needed to grow. There will always be another chance in the future where you can love again. Instead, you found yourself. So, if you find yourself in a space where you miss someone to the point you feel they are the one that got away, that you cannot move on without them, stop. Understand that on your journey with them, they helped show you where you needed to grow. There will always be another chance in the future where you can love again. No one got away. Instead, you found yourself. If you want to become a high-value woman in just 21 days and want your man to fall madly in love with you, get instant access to my ebook for free from the link in description below. Along with the book, there are videos and training tutorials that reveals the darkest secrets of love and obsession that you would never hear from any dating coach. Also, if you want any consultation regarding your relationship or marriage, you can contact me on my personal email address. Feel free to comment down below and I will definitely try and get back to you. Please share this video with your friends and family who you think should get to know these signs. Your one valuable share can help them save their life and relationship. Make sure to subscribe to the channel University of Obsession for more such interesting videos on relationship and dating advice. See you in the next video, keep supporting.